Hi guys, welcome to my video. I am new to YouTube, and YouTube is new to me too. I made things at home, uh, scientific, cool things, which uh, generally small, I mean, generally boys can make as they don't have appropriate sources or things to make it. So I give tricks to make it at home. It a uh, home thing, general getting things. Uh, so today we are going to make a homemade gyroscope. A gyroscope, or you also may call it as an anti-gravity wheel. Uh, I have prepared it. Just I will tell how to make it and the parts required for it and the procedure to make it. Uh, here is a gyroscope. It is made by three simple computer series. 3D, three. I am saying because these are two. Uh, if it, you can get a small series, small which are available at market. I can't get it. Generally, students will not get it at the general store uh, because they are out of date there. Uh, so I have just cut bigger discs into smaller discs. So I will tell you the dimensions. I will come. Uh, here I have taken a 9 volt battery, a switch, and some wires, and one DC motor. DC motor at the center. Uh, let's start with the procedure. Now first, you take a motor and just put at the exactly center of the disc, as you don't want any jumble in the disc. Uh, so put it in the exactly at the center of the dish and glue it. I have used a glue gun, glue gun, or you may use as a super glue or M seal to M seal it, seal it. Uh, just and I put connected this wire to one to the switch and say a uh, switch to the battery and the battery to the wow, motor. Uh, so you can use disco tape to just uh, staple this all the uh, wires. I have this because while falling it may not get messed, so I have just glued all the wires and the battery perfectly you can use a very quick or uh, rubber adhesive or any MC loss or a different type of adhesive which are strong enough to hold that you can use it uh, and I have taken a 9 volt battery if you can get a lighter battery it will be preferably mostly because it is too heavy still it work but it is too heavy for it if you can get a rechargeable batteries which are available in market it will be very fine because not this one a small thin batteries lightweight batteries it will be perfectly for this mechanism i have just put it uh -huh, just coming back to the point i have just put this motor to there connect it all you can see i will pause it for two seconds you can see it is a switch switch small switch uh, and coming back i have take you can see here the excess coming out of the motor. I just put this disc to that. Uh, how to make this small disc? Uh, you can take two small discs which are available but not so available, they are a bit rare. You can take two, just cut it then and uh, have this small. This dimension are uh, 8 cm in diameter or you can take a big disc, cut 2 cm from each side, 2 cm from each side and get this size disc. Take two, two discs, cut it. It is very simple, just I will show you, I have cut this, this is a cut disc, it's simple, just take a big scissor and just cut a straight line, Mark first mark the circle we have to cut, we cut like straight line, then just go on cutting, you will get the circle. So yeah, I have taken it and just we take different things to put it as a swatch and uh, I have read somewhere. Uh, things are different but I have Jugadu as this is for the uh, people who can't get the supplies. So I just taken here, uh, put the M seal in the center. I have just taken this CDD aside, just put level the level all the M seal within the center, within the center M seal it and just make a hole at the center and just let it to drag. After drying I have just taken it, uh, put some glue or you can put very quick super glue or M seal again some little M seal it and then fit it to the axis of the motor and just take sure that it must be as close as possible to the main disc as it will be center of gravity will be at the center it will as close at the main disc and uh, not too close that it scratches the main disc or it will produce a drag or friction which is we don't want uh, so it is the setup and uh, put some very cool very quick and seal or something on the top on the open opening of the hem to close that hole and so we are ready to use our gyroscope or anti-gravity wheel. Just I will put it on so that you can hear it. Let it spin to the maximum speed, then you can take it. Take care that the battery is towards the bottom of the head as it, if, if you put anywhere it will be get stabilized but it may go around or beside the table. So just make sure that the battery is to the bottom 
and just place it here perpendicular to the surface and just leave it as you can see it is moving like a, like a top balancing itself it is a <laughs> awesome as a it look very very it look awesome only just i can say that if you put like that if you put a battery on the side if you put it i will show on this it will glide away i can see that if you see like that it will glide away oh my camera <laughs> it will glide away so if you don't want that so just keep the battery to the center so it will get stabilized and just leave it it will be stabilized itself and it's awesome man it's a homemade machine which is very awesome so see you next time till that try this thing i will come back with some other stuffs very cool stuffs so see you back and don't forget to like share and comment and please subscribe it because you're going to have much more videos like that which are awesome to make at home with simple things okay then see you bye till that time yo leo lo boom